What's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna be eating myself some Korean food. It's been a minute, so I got me some kimchi bokumbap, aka kimchi fried rice, but not just any old kimchi fried rice. Best believe I'm taking this up to the next level. If you don't know about kimchi fried rice, it's a classic staple Korean food. Uh, easily thrown together with stuff you have in your fridge sitting around. Basically, take some white rice, some, some kimchi, you know, a lot of people like the older stuff, you know, the, the extra fermented stuff. You take some sesame oil and maybe some gochujang, a little or a lot, and some whatever you want, really. You can add some onions, you can add a fried egg on top, but that's the basics of it. You, you fry it up and it's, it's quick, easy, delicious. It can be a little bit lacking, though, because at least for me, I'm like, where's the meat? So a lot of times you, you will throw in meat in there. A couple uh, popular additions are what I have right in front of my very eyes right here. <clears throat> and yeah, let me just get into it right now. So I picked this up from a place that I had a few days ago. I was like, damn, that's fire. Let me get that again. You might think this is going to be a crazy combination, but just trust me on it. This cost me 15 bucks, so a little bit hefty, but it's, it's hefty. Let's see what we're working with. All right, so right off the bat, I have a couple of fried eggs on top, and that's pretty much all you can see right now. That is one thing that I added on extra. Let me take these out of here so you can see a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I didn't try this last time. As you can see, under the eggs, we have a layer of mozzarella cheese, and this was like a dollar extra. That should be a mighty fine addition. Underneath that cheese, you can see some of the, the fried rice underneath. And this is, like I said, you're not your standard, but a common variation. There is tuna, canned tuna mixed in with this fried rice right here. And you're probably thinking like tuna and kimchi and rice, like that sounds insane, but, uh, and cheese, but no, trust me. Trust me on that one. Let me get a little preliminary mix of the cheese and the rice real quick. And then I'm gonna pour it down onto this plate. Like I said, this is a hefty amount. All right. And you might be thinking, that doesn't really look like fried rice to me. And I'll tell you what, that's one thing that I thought when I first came to Korea and I tried this out myself. Um, because I was used to eating, you know, fried rice from the Chinese restaurants and it was a little bit, I wouldn't say drier, but you know, it was a little, it was lighter. Like this is dense. Uh, there's really no way I can exactly show you, but this stuff is, it clumps. You have to try it to really understand it, but that's how fried rice is here in Korea. At least every time I've had it, which is a lot. All right, next we have another key addition, Spam. So I'm gonna put this, let me just throw this on the side right now. I wanna get some kind of uh, thumbnail. I'm gonna put the eggs back on top as well. This is smelling incredible. And last but not least, we have some of this salted dried seaweed, roasted seaweed. And what I'm gonna do with this, this might be a better view. I'm gonna just cut it up on top. No rhyme or reason. Stuff is good. Maybe not the best presentation there, but it's all gonna get mixed up anyway here in a minute. And it's all gonna get mixed up in my belly. I'll tell you what, if you do have a stomach, you would appreciate this. So that's all I gotta say. I'm saying it's good. Let me just go in for a bite of the rice first. I'm gonna get some off the back. My plan is to dig a little bit of that rice first and then start mixing because right now, uh, I don't think I could mix without making a mess. So just some kimchi fried rice with the tuna. Bomb.com. A little bit of cheese up in there. And I'll tell you what, the tuna key addition like I like I said uh, kimchi fried rice without any other you know additions is still very solid 
but I could I could see a lot of people being underwhelmed by it, uh, especially you know if you're from if you're not used to eating kimchi. Mm. I feel like they use some some butter while they're sauteing this up too. Got a little buttery kick, but <clears throat> so yeah. But like I'm saying, if you ever come across kimchi fried rice at a restaurant or whatever, and you're like, I want to give that a try, definitely see if they have the options for adding in the you know the tuna, the spam, whatever. Speaking of spam, let me get to mixing here. I think I can mix up this egg. Unfortunately, they didn't keep this egg runny, which is too bad. I think they did last time. I think it was like runny last time. A fried egg right on top, uh, and you just kind of mix it all together with that runny yolk. Just mix all throughout that rice. All right, this is, yeah, this, this is getting out of control, but let me try to get a bite with a little bit of everything. Here we go, right here. Got the egg on top and some spam, some cheese, and some rice. So good. The spam. Just makes it so good. Next level. Spam and rice, fire. Spam and eggs, fire. You know, spam, I like it, so whatever. And you add it to this, something about the way it mixes with the kimchi. You get that sourness, but you get that saltiness. You get the, uh, the deep, little bit of that, like, you know, what is sesame oil? What would you, the sesame-ness? Whatever you want to call it. Maybe some deep umami or nuttiness, I would say. <clears throat> as well as that from the egg. Uh, the cheesy, little bit of cheesiness. I would have added more cheese. And this is just, this is one of my favorite, like, Korean foods. Right here. But you gotta have the additions. I will say that. If you don't have a place where you can get this around you, like a restaurant, you might want to make it at home. I guess if you don't have a restaurant, uh, I don't know, you might have a local Asian market or something. Obviously, I just ordered this, but if you want to look up how to make it, check out Mangchi uh, or just type in like kimchi bokumbap on Google. She'll probably be the first result. She's an OG. Shout out. She's got all the Korean recipes. Oh. Mm. Wow. This is like, this is hefty. I'm trying to think what I would compare. I like doing this sometimes, like taking a Korean food and comparing it to uh, American food, for example. Like kimbap is a classic. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't want to call it Korean style sushi because Koreans would get offended, but it just looks like a sushi roll. I would almost directly compare that to a sandwich. Quick to make at home. Uh, 
it just requires it's got your carbs it's got some vegetables perhaps some meat in it and it's not eaten hot i guess some sandwiches are eaten hot but you know what i'm saying it's good for a picnic if you want a picnic in korea you're getting kimbap sandwich i don't know also jajangmyeon like black bean noodles and it's kind of a korean or it's kind of a chinese food it's a korean style chinese food so really it's it's basically like a korean food in my opinion that is a direct comparison to mac and cheese. Here's why. There's also a ramen called japageti, which is kind of like jajangmyeon. Except the instant version. And that is like craft mac and cheese. And real jajangmyeon is kind of like homemade mac and cheese. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then yeah, I probably lost you, but it makes sense in my head. Yeah, anyway. This is so hearty. I think this right here could pretty easily be split between two people for for a small meal. For sure. I'm getting full. What would you compare this to though? American food. Simple, uh, just stuff that you'll have around the house. But you do need to fry it up, so you do need a frying pan. You can eat it as a whole meal, or you can eat it as a side. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. All I know. Oh. I said this is mighty fine. <clears throat> well, I'm full. And, um, and if you like kimchi, if you like Korean food, Definitely got to give this a try. Highly recommend the little things that you can mix in there. Takes it up to the next level. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I'm about to skate out of here, so catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.